morning. This is Alan from Baja Overlanding, and I think some of you guys might have saw my camp trailer we built early in the year. Well, we've done a few modifications and changed out the tent, and just going to give you a quick walk around. One of the first things we've done is place this aluminum storage box on the front here with the um, solar panel mounted on top. I do have to park into the sun, but that's not a problem. The solar panel charges 100 watt battery here. We have a DC to DC charger for when I'm driving. I have a 500 watt Rock Pals remote unit, and I carry a 500 watt solar panel for that as well. 1000 watt inverter. So we're pretty well set for power now. That works great. We've added a new tent. We've got the Centauri clamshell, and I'm very impressed with it. Opens up real easy, packs up easy. It's a little learning curve to get all the sides in properly, but once you get it down, it's pretty easy. We mounted this swing out arm on the um, shower tent here, so it's permanently mounted now, and when it folds all up and closes, it's actually facing the tent on the inside, so it's not going to get ripped up on a shrub or something. Shower tent is right there next to where we um, get in and out of the tent so we can get in there and change. Makes it nice for the wife. The other thing we've added is a um, awning. This thing is going to be very nice sitting around at night. It's on these slide out rails. So once the tent's packed up, I can slide it in. It gets a little closer to the trailer. We placed a little slide-out box on the top here. And this is where I keep some of the extra legs, tent pegs. I've got the scuttle legs and um, an axe, a few other items like that. So they're really easy to get to. They're sharp and pointy, and I don't want them inside the trailer. Little side boxes here. They carry all my... Um, leveling blocks, my wheel chocks, a few things like that. The other side I've got one that's got the hoses and strap down ropes and tent pegs and so we've got a pretty good supply of that stuff on the sides. The back's just an empty storage area. We might put some drawers in it but I have everything in crates that works perfect. I have two crates, my fire pit and gas bottle go up the middle and then all my chairs and tables lay across the back. We've placed a table on the tailgate that comes out and holds that. I've got a little rod that locks the tailgate in place. So we can set that on here. So that rod stops it from moving. When we have it, it holds it in place. Little magnetic paper towel rolls work really good. I will be placing up here on top of the, the lid a couple of three gallon, four gallon gas cans, um, rotor packs that will be mounted up there un, out of the sun. So uh, the other thing we've done is put some power back here from the inverter. We have a pump switch so I can bring the hose around and turn the pump off so I don't leave it on all the time. It is pressurized, it will cycle off, I just like to not leave it on. There's also a light switch here that will turn on lights underneath the back for when you're cooking. It really illuminates nice at night. The Centauri tent actually fits perfectly. It's the uh, same length as the trailer, same width, and then when it falls out, it's just really nice. We have a problem with the leg. So if the trailer height, the leg just doesn't sit nice. It, it has to come out at a slight angle like this to have the floor level. So what I've done is put a limit strap on it, stops the problem of the leg sliding out, works perfectly. And So it's not a big deal. So be careful if you're putting one on a trailer, make sure your ladder will work properly. So you can see the shower tent here. Another thing we've done is we took out the one and a half inch mattress and we put in this 3 inch self inflating mattress. It doesn't fully self inflate so we do have a little pump here and this fitting 
was on a bag that they gave you that you could fill with air and squeeze in. But I took it off the bag and I've mounted it to a adapter for the air compressor and this pump it blows and it sucks. So I can blow the bed up, put a bit of extra pressure. I can also suck all the air out of it. It collapses down to about an inch and it folds up. So I, I will put a link to the, the mattress. It fits perfectly in this tent side to side. The Centauri tents are a little wider at the head end. So I'm going to take some of the foam that came out of the bed, cut it and glue it and build some little three inch blocks that'll go on each side. And that's going to um, give me a little bit more width. I can leave the pillows in when it falls up, which is nice. And I've installed these strip lights down each side. The bottom of each strip light is a switch. So each person can turn their own lights on and off. And um, that works really good. Centauri tents do come with a light, but they're one of the ones with the little remote and I can just see that getting lost. So, um, and they, they're a little USB plug. So these are hard wired down. The whole tent is wired with a plug that plugs into the trailer. And if I take the tent off, I can unplug it. So all of that works great. The Centauri tent has got a lot more room than my old soft tent. And um, so far I'm really happy. Down the side here, we have the 12 volts to plug in the um, little air pump and down the bottom there's a um, plug for 110 to plug in and charge the battery. So I'll um, take another video of it all packed up a little later on. But all in all it works really good. We can't wait to get it out on the trail. Evacuated the air out of the, the mattress, came down to about a half inch thick, folded up perfectly, left the pillows in there. We'll probably end up leaving both the sheets and just take out the uh, sleeping bag topper we use. The 
awning or the shower tent folds in out of the way. And then this one, the main awning, it'll just slide in about six inches and the trailer's ready to go. So I didn't time that, but it doesn't take too long.